SUP is not a surfing sport, nor is it a canoe or surf ski sport. It's a melding of all, with its own specialized equipment and skill and technique. Stand-up paddle is a unique sport. Participants use a paddle and large stable board and can paddle in any water location from the open ocean out to sea, coastal shore to far inland on dams, lakes and rivers. Hey, how are you doing? Very good. I want to start the most interesting part. The way how my friends introduced you is that tomorrow we're going for enduro race with a guy who had SUP ride from Cyprus to Greece and back without any issues. Just riding like a regular Sunday. Okay, it was a ride from Greece only, not Greece and back. It was, uh, I mean, it was from uh, first from Castel Lorizo to Limassol, then in 2016 from uh, Credit to Limassol and then from Nikon. So, how much kilometers is it like? The last one was 850 kilometers from Nikon. Only SUP or with a with a? No, only SUP. Okay. So, how many days it took? Ten days. What drive you? Why did you do this? It's just like uh, I want to try. No, to be honest, in 2013 we decided with a friend uh, Nikos to come from Papua. And we came. When we finished, we did it for charity. Uh, when we ah. came in uh, Limassol, and we were sitting with my mom, my mom on the table, she told me, "Okay, next year I come from Castellón." I said, "Okay, I will come." She said, "Like a joke?" Or? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I said, "Okay, if mom is asking, of course I will do it." And then I came from Castellón, 400 kilometers. Uh, then I wanted to challenge a bit more myself and I decided to come from Crete, 700 kilometers. You just woke up, I want to do it two, uh, two yeah. times more. <laughs> it was almost two times more, yes. And the last one from Mykonos, I really wanted to to go, I mean, and to face the Meltemi. Meltemi is the uh, north uh, wind coming in Aegean Sea, mm. very strong. Uh, I wanted to see that. And it was very So nice. it was a high waves or? Uh, I had the, the first three days around three meters and the fourth day I have around five meters. And waves. you just went past them with SUP? I was surfing them. I mean, I ah. was behind me and I was surfing them. Okay. It was and then you pr uh, proceeded paddling? Of course I was paddling. No, I was paddling and I was touching the waves. I mean, four hours. But you were in the middle of uh, the sea. Uh, if something happens, you okay. You had some emergency. I call. had a board. Somebody with me. knew. I had a board. Ah, with okay. Me. I had a team with me, yeah. of course, with food and. All right. So there team. was a support. Okay. Yes. Thank God. And uh, did you had some trainings before, or it was just? Uh, no. I mean, did I, you prepare I, yourself? I prepare myself very well. Very well. Almost nine months of training, very hard, and of course, every trip I was more ready, more experienced, more ready. I knew what I would face. I knew that okay, I had this problem. I have to fix it, this problem. I had other problem. I have to fix this. I mean, Migonos. If I was trying the first time from Migonos, I'm not sure if I would make. You, you you wrote a training program for yourself, yes. like yes. you were... Yes. I, yeah, because my, you were coach. It, yes, it's my thing and yes, I did it. I, I knew what I need, I knew what I want, I, I was very uh, focused on what I'm doing. And, uh, okay, but uh, why did you chose SUP? Is this some... Is this the most love sport type of sport for you? You, fa you faced as the most challenging or...? Okay. I'm windsurfing for, from 10 years old, almost now 33 years. Um, windsurfing also a challenge to do it, but as you people meet, it was something new. I fell in love with it. It's You can do the best training with uh, SUP, you can relax on SUP, you can fa have fun on SUP. And I wanted to do it with SUP. It was something new in my life, and I wanted to see if I can do that. So. Yeah, because you were sailing. Uh, you were. T you told me today that you were also a trainer of sailing, right? I was. Yes, I started sailing at the age of eight. 
in uh, I was uh, national coach for 10 years. So. For the Cyprus team? For Cyprus team, Olympic yes. Games, Olympic national coach yes. for all these events, okay. So you know how to write a program for training. <laughs> <laughs> that would be strange if not. Okay. So uh, SUP is international sport. It's it's worldwide. Actually, you can do SUP in. Uh, you don't need a sea for that. You can do it in the lake. Actually, it's a quite good sport for mm. any type of uh, country. Yes, exactly. But how you consider? You've been traveling a lot, sailing, and Cyprus is one of the best locations for the sport, or it's in top five, or how do you consider it? Surfing, if for sub, just sub, I mean, without big waves, is maybe the best place. We but have a very nice, heat, clean, uh, the temperature is very good, the weather mainly is good. Throughout so the year, almost yes. throughout the year. But uh, what, what surprises me, I haven't heard about a lot of competitions happening or people competing, maybe some international people coming as a team. To In Cyprus still, okay, we had some competition here actually many times. There is no international competitions? Okay, not speaking about Olympic Games, yes, just like are, Mediterranean yeah. area. They there are, are but they are happening in other countries. Yes. In? Last one was in France. Uh, different, different places. Different places. Okay, but why France? For, for SUP is not... Many countries, they have like a tour in Europe. Not, not yet in Cyprus. Hopefully in Greece we have some competition. Do you think it's a problem that it's not promoted? Cyprus is not promoted for this type of sport too much, or people doesn't know that you can have a nice SUP uh, events think, here? Or I think lately the people of uh, the Cypriots and the people that live in Cyprus, because they're not only Cypriots that live in Cyprus, mm. like you actually. Mm, yes, I think <laughs> they know the, the slowly, slowly. I think I can say I managed to make this for you. Yeah, that's that's true. I think. The issue yet is that mainly Cyprus is targeted as a more uh, steady vacation, just having a bit of suntan, having a bit of drinks or, or, or at the bars, having mise and, and, and week finishes, you know, or two weeks. They're just doing this, but nobody is yet or a very small part of those tourists who are coming are considering it as a point where you can actually have a lot of sport activities, you can enjoy in the winter snowboarding and in summer you can enjoy hundreds of different sports and I think it's really hundreds, it's so many different things you can do and all, you have mountains, you have sea, you have beach, volleyball, rockets, whatever, you can think about it, you have it here. So, what do you think, why uh, Cyprus is not yet considered as a place where you actually meet a lot of active people from other countries? Mainly, it's just a family tourism. Maybe what you said, we don't have organized competition here. So Maybe it's this. But, to be honest, more and more tourists, let's say, and more and more Cypriots are doing sports. Here. Exactly. Every year I see every, more and yes. more, actually. And every year, me at the beach here, I see new people. Uh, coming to learn about this sport, try to have fun, and it's nice. And it's nice. Yeah, I think it's uh, Cyprus needs to do a bit more yelling about how active any possibilities I you have here. If people are happy doing this, they will say to friends, this. Yeah, exactly. Work.